the Antonov AN-225 versus the Airbus A380. Which plane is bigger? The A380 is known for its impressive size, range and carrying capacity, but to call it the king of the skies would be a misnomer when the Antonov AN-225 exists. The Ukrainian-built freighter is so colossal that it puts most aircraft to shame. But is it better than an A380? Let's check it out. The Antonov AN-225 was created in 1988 to carry the Russian version of the Space Shuttle. NASA was using the Boeing 747 at the time, and thus Russia needed to find an aircraft that had similar properties. Whilst the Space Shuttle program did not move beyond the fall of the USSR in the turn of the 90s, the plane wasn't completely forgotten. It sat around for a few years until returning to service in 2001 for active cargo duty. It has six engines and 32 wheels to support its huge wingspan of 290 feet. This is bigger than the A380 and it does technically answer the question asked in the title. But bear with me, because does bigger mean better? Naturally, the two aircraft have been built with very different purposes. The A380 is a large passenger aircraft made to connect two different distant hubs, but at the same time fly as fuel efficiently as possible. The Antonov AN-225 is designed to carry the heaviest cargo possible to a massive range with no regard for fuel or costs. If you need to get something moved quickly, as Boeing did with their GE-9X engines, then the AN-225 is needed. Thus, with two different purposes, it might seem like we're comparing apples to oranges, but if we break down the two planes into their essential concepts, an aircraft transporting cargo, we can actually say which is better. Let's begin by looking at the range of the two aircraft. The Antonov AN-225 can fly 4,500 kilometers loaded and empty it can travel an impressive 15,400 kilometers. The Airbus A380 can fly 14,800 kilometers fully loaded with passengers. Qantas once flew an A380 almost 17,000 kilometers with no passengers on board. At first, it looks like the range of the Antonov is fantastic, but when you see that the Airbus is designed with an operational range that almost matches the empty weight of the Antonov, there is clearly a winner. There's no point in being able to fly across the world without being able to carry a full load of cargo. So, which aircraft can carry the most goods to the destination? If it was a short trip under the range of the Antonov, full load, then which aircraft would be able to carry more? The AN-225 has a cargo deck, essentially the entire plane, with a volume of 1,300 cubic meters, or 46,000 cubic feet. It has no upper end of payload weight, only world records such as 189 tons, or 418,830 pounds for a single object. It was a generator. The Airbus A380 has a volume of only 175.2 meters cubed, or 6,190 cubic feet, as most of the space is taken up by passenger seating. A rumoured Airbus A380 freighter that was never built would have had a payload of 150 tonnes, or 330,000 pounds, with a 5,600 nautical mile or 10,400 kilometre range. Thus, even a freighter version of the Airbus A380 doesn't come close to carrying as much as the Antonov. The AN-225 is the perfect cargo carrier, if money is no option. If you're willing to pay, then it can take almost anything from A to B. However, if you're flying regular long-haul routes, then it might be better to employ an A380 with a bigger range and better fuel expenditure. After all, the AN-225 can only carry, based off of record attempts, an extra 30 tonnes more than the A380F. Sometimes, bigger isn't always better. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the Simple Flying channel and be sure to click the notification bell.